everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome all my new subscribers. I want to take a second and I want to thank each and every single one of you guys out there to take the time out of your day to watch and support the channel. It means the world to me. You guys, Smurf has been freaking crazy busy lately doing stuff with family. I really haven't had much time to detail, let alone shoot some content. But I am back. It is a beautiful Sunday. It is kind of hot. Um, I am working on a really good friend of mine's wife's car. It's a 2016 Ford Escape. Uh, he brought it to me. He's, he's, he said he's owed his wife a detail um, for a while. And it, I've just been so busy lately. And we've been talking about it. He finally got it to me. And overall, this car is in great shape. Really, they made it easy for me. They just want to spruce up a bit. Um, get some protection on it. Uh, there's a few little minor scuffs and scratches that they wanted me to address. So I'm taking care of that. But you guys, I popped the hood and then my light bulb went off in my head because the uh, engine bay of this thing is pretty bad. Um, and you know, for the longest time, I, I never did engine bays because I was just, I was scared. Me being a mechanic, I've seen horror stories. Um, but I've kind of learned a kind of a way that a method that works for me. So this is my method guys. You guys in uh, a clean engine bay is a really nice way. I don't know. I feel better when my engine bay is cleaner. Like I swear my car is faster and it runs better when it's cleaner. <laughs> but you guys, everyone that's out there, all you guys that follow along, a lot of you guys are weekend wars. You guys take care of your cars. You guys know a clean engine bay is just like the icing on the cake. Now, am I trying to make this thing look, get every little speck of dirt on every little crack? No, but when you have an engine bay that is really, really nasty, cleaning it up can really bring that edge back to, sorry about all the traffic in the back guys, I really apologize, but um, it's busy Sunday, everybody's out, it's nice. Um, having a clean engine bay is, really have i been learning since i've been doing them lately it really just puts that icing on the cake guys so um i wanted to bring you guys along with me and and do an engine bay basically uh, a smurf engine bay detail day <laughs> and i want to bring you guys all along with me because uh for not that much work uh the results are actually very very satisfying and i kind of enjoy it now um so Go over a few things uh, that I use for my engine bay details. You guys, let's start with my super clean. So I've got my super clean in my little HDX pump sprayer here. I bought this at Home Depot for like five or, five or six bucks. Um, and then I've also got my super clean aerosol spray. This works really good. I have also used my Marilex pump foamer. You can foam, you can use your, um, your, your pump foamer and you can foam the engine bay, um, whatever works for you, but uh, today I'm using my super clean in my HDX sprayer um, Now I've got um, This is my fender brush when I do fender liners and stuff like that. I use this I've got I've got an old set an old set of Brushes that I dedicated to engine base because it's filthy and it's nasty You guys don't go grab your interior brushes and go try to clean the engine bay and then go try to clean your interior I have a dedicated brush set for your engine base. And I know you guys have all seen these. These are the like wheel woolies, but these aren't, these are kind of the like Amazon special ones. They're actually really rough and they can scratch wheels, especially gloss black wheels. Um, so I kind of, um, I dedicated these tougher ones to engine base. It really allows you to get in there in some certain spots and, and work it and and zoop, 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 get on the little areas. You know what I mean by zoop, 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 zoop. you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, all them brushes really help. Get in there, you spray it down as you guys will see, agitate it, get in there, rinse it. Now, one thing I want to address, if your battery and alternator are exposed significantly, I do recommend putting a bag around your alternator, at least. The battery, some people say, yeah, I don't cover it. I see people that just go in and just soak everything. That's not me. I like to cover the battery if it's not covered, and I like to cover the alternator if it's not covered. I don't want water getting in the alternator. I've seen them short out like I'm a mechanic. So if you can, uh, cover up your alternator. If your battery is already covered up, like on this one, uh, I'm not really going to worry too much about it. Um, 
I am using my pressure washer, but my trick is I don't turn the pressure washer on. I just use a regular, um, I just spray it without the pressure washer being on. So it fans it, I mist it, and I, um, I rinse. I try to stay away from soaking things. So it's very simple. So let's jump in to it. I'm gonna put you guys on my head. You're gonna get a POV view. I hope you guys enjoy this style video. Um, encourage you guys out there to get your engine base clean because it really is the icing on the cake. So let's jump over on this escape and uh, you guys will see my process. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's do it.
All right, everybody, quick final thoughts segment, Smurfs engine bay detail day. <laughs> um, as you guys can see, it really takes a little bit, minimal effort. Um, I'm not, wasn't going for perfection. I was just trying to clean it up, make it look nice. A little bit of super clean. It is really hot here. So as you guys can see, it was drying really quickly. I don't recommend doing engine bay details on a hot day, let alone on a hot engine. Make sure your engine is ice cold you don't want to do it on a hot engine uh make sure it's if you can do it when it's cool outside because it, it was drying really quick i had to keep you know spraying it stuff like that uh but you know mother nature weather that's all going to be variables that's going you're going to have to work into you into wherever you're at so for me it's really hot here it was drying really quick so i had to kind of speed through it uh but i mean look at the difference that thing looks amazing compared to what it used to look like and uh just a few brushes and uh yeah really changes the look of the car especially when you open the hood a lot of people don't even care what their engine looks like but when you pop it and you see it's nice and clean i mean just just looks that much better so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and as you guys could see i finished it off with my lithium inner space um i i switch off between this i use car pro pearl um are my main two um i'm actually low on pearl but after you clean up the engine bay you can put your choice of dressing, whatever you want to put on there. Give it a little bit of, I don't like shine, so that's why I really like the inner space. Gives it a nice, deep, rich, conditioned finish. And it's perfect for me, up my alley, for what I look for. Adds a little bit of protection to the plastics. Um, and yeah, you're good to go. So, quick, basic video on how to turn a horrible engine bay into something looking decent. So when you pop your hood, people say, hey, this thing looks clean and well taken care of. So yeah um if you guys have any questions on anything you guys know drop them in the comments i appreciate you guys if you liked this video and enjoy this style videos please consider subscribing to the channel smash that thumbs up for me hit that little notification bell that way when i upload more videos how to's polishings coatings details product reviews all that kind of stuff you guys will get notified i really appreciate it and uh, I want to say thank you again to all you guys that take the time out of your day to watch and support my channel. It really means the world to me. Thank you guys. I uh, hope you guys all have to have a fantastic day, night, evening. And I'm going to catch you guys all on the next video.